Now, President Museveni has approved the Computer Misuse Bill 2022, recently tabled by the Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Horebo Muhammad Nsereko. However, this bill has been criticized for seeking to suffocate freedom of expression in the country, with many critics predicting that it's targeting the opponents to President Museveni's government. Into in the dembe, a yokuwa ebiro ozo biyo, ebiro ozo. Tebe na birungi buri kaseda. Oba wuri bera mu enare mu kokas. No yoke na bita sanyu sa mukurembezo mu na irigena kukolaji. Kani no tuwa sababu kurembeze. Baba ba sora ba diona gumbuto, ba tuwegati kuto gene mu kodi, eteka ino kodi, erijewo kubanga diabu diabu na chema di dani. Now Bobby Wine said. When a law is unjust, it's not only right to disobey it, but it becomes a duty to do so. Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, yesterday rebuked religious leaders, traditional and political leaders for keeping silent as President Museveni's government violates human rights in the country. Now, Bobby Wine says it's very unfortunate that religious leaders have kept silent as issues like abductions are going on in the country, but they can't stand strong and condemn the heinous acts done by President Museveni's government. <laughs> Mugamba <laughs> Now, Bobby Wine also requested his supporters and other change seeking Ugandans that it's time everyone joined Twitter and exposed President Museveni to the rest of the world because, according to the research, Twitter has a bigger impact on pushing the struggle for liberation in Uganda than other social media platforms. Now, Bobby Wine's supporter, Tracy Bobby Holick, who was a few months ago abducted and uh, later remanded to Luzira prison, and Motive Kasaga were also present to tell the unpleasant experiences they went through in the hands of their tormentors. <laughs>
Ugwai ni alawa sente meka Banko la pepu jori nji nyo Luwachi, abaku wata abantu wafi mi Uganda Tivachi ayagala kungovele la mateka Agali mi constitution agaku wata kungeli joino kwa tamu umutu In fact, neteka liya police act Na lori di clear nyo Engeli omutu joino kubele anga kwa tibu wa mu So noruecho Shannaku njo mtu wakua atibwa na yambu wa mmaso gaba ntube, mmaso gaba na beba azala, na kubibwa mizibu, hivyo eh, nebitali mmateka. Nijeje wange kuruda wa nyewu alimasaka, nijeje uomuano oyu alimasaka, nijite uomuano alimasaka. Abafa baba gala mizeyo, abala mjibali, nimboza, kusaweno, ateka akati wa Uganda nenda duja wa Urutaze Kenya. Alana bafu bako ati president mu seven tu na musonga zin. Oba ko bafu no government bakusonye mu mwana bamusonye. Aba ko fai bako lachi. Kana baba akusonya basonye we. Bana ngo mwami wange mute tali na musango tali na chi yakola. Pleme mu odi kana mu koti ya machi tali na musango. Mu mute ande wakala bidira abana be abana bali abana batane te bali na buyambi. Now, a minister in President Museveni's government, Dr. Sam Mayanja, in a recent interview, said that top Buganda Kingdom officials responsible for Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi's well-being should be slapped with criminal charges over the king's sickness. Mayanja revealed that early this month, he was very shocked upon seeing the king in public looking very sick. I feel very bad seeing Kabaka in such a situation. And I wonder why people decided to bring him in public in that state. Those people deserve imprisonment after charging them with torture and harassing the head of Buganda. Well, there you go. That is a statement coming in from Dr. Mayanja, a minister in President Museveni's government. Now, President Museveni's son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, has apologized to the Kenyan president, His Excellency William Ruto Samoyi. In a tweet yesterday, Mohozi said, I have never had any problem with Afande Ruto. If I made a mistake anywhere, I ask him to forgive me as his young brother. God bless East Africa. Well, personally, I don't take any apology that starts with if I made a mistake. I want you to first acknowledge what you did as a mistake. But if you start with if I made a mistake, that to me sounds like, you know, you're not acknowledging what you did as a mistake. So it's better you correct your statement first, then I'll be able to forgive you. But anyway, let's hope Kenya President, His Excellency William Ruto Samoi, has forgiven Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's bad manners. <music> Well, there you go. That's the latest updates I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. And in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.